Hey traders, Akil Stokes here, Chief Currency Analyst at TradingPower.com and welcome to another Forex Weekend Review video. If this is your first time watching, thank you for joining me. This video is going to be a little bit different than what we usually talk about. Typically, we do a lesson on technical analysis. We talk a little bit about the trades we, uh, we took during the week. But be honest with you, there's not much out there for me to look at today, um, at least right now. So I want to talk about a different topic and uh, more about trading psychology. Now, I posted this to my Facebook page and Twitter. I'll, I'll put the link below as well. But uh, this past weekend, I read an interesting article called The Acrasia Effect, which is basically means uh, procrastination, the, the effect of, of pushing things back. And um, as always, this relates to your regular life as well, but especially relates to us as traders. And uh, in the article, it talked about there are three ways to fight this effect. Again, the, the effect of um, pushing things back, the effect of not following through, have you? And the first one was design your future actions. Now, um, the article said one tip is to put obstacles in your way of your bad habits. And it gave an example of Victor Hugo. He was the author of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And before he wrote the book, or I guess while he was supposed to be writing the book, he was enjoying life. He was out partying, eating dinners, going on trips, doing everything he was supposed to be doing except for writing the book. And his publisher kind of got on his case about it. And when he finally decided to make the change, like, hey, I need to I need to bite down and really get this done. Um, what he did was he went into his chamber, his, his, uh, his room, and he threw away all of his articles of clothing except for like one robe. And he did that because he knew that if he had nothing to wear, there would be no temptation to go out. Um, and it's a, a fun little trick. We see this a lot with uh, trades. Um, answer this for me. Have you ever been in a trade and you're watching it on your computer and you're looking at it and you're looking at it and you're looking at it and you feel that bad habit creep up like you, you, you just want to take it early. You just want to stop yourself out. Uh, we had a great example. Let me see if I can bring it over on the euro yen this week. We had a delete this. We had a nice deep Gartley pattern. We had one one really good one on the pound yen as well. This is more of a four hour uh, trade, but let me show you it just so um, you can get an idea here of what we're looking at. We had a nice deep Gartley pattern right here around 126.80s. X to A, our initial impulse. X to A, A to B, B to C, and a CD formation down here. Now. We got filled earlier on this pair and the market initially went against us. And for someone that's looking at this trade, you're you immediately get in, you're excited, you're you know, you're, you're waiting for that trade. And now you're in the red and you're down 10 pips, you're down 20 pips, you're down, you know, 25 pips, it looks like. And your heart's beating, it's thumping, you want to get out, you see it start to reverse, you're like, get out for break even, get out for break even. You know, these are the bad habits uh, we talked about in the live room this morning about the the angel and the devil on your shoulders, per se, you know, giving you all these different ideas and and, you know, who what side of your conscious are you going to give into? And a lot of traders struggle with this watching price action go from negative 20 to zero to plus 20, uh, knowing that they need to wait. I think we got 50 pips out of this, knowing they need to wait another um, another 70 pips for targets to be hit. And what happens, you know, with most traders is they they as soon as it gets in a, a, a level of profit that feels good, they exit the position early. Um, and one quick way to get rid of this bad habit is to do this, right? I'm going to change this into an actual mouse icon so you can see it. Look at my pointer right here, right? Take it up. Take it to the top right. There's either a red X right here or there's a little dash thing. You click that and watch this. Poof. Magic. Out of sight out of mind. You know, don't tempt yourself. Don't put yourself in that situation where you're getting all worked up. Close it down. All of the hard work was done before you entered the trade. Close it down. Go grab a bike. Go work out. Do something. Get away from your charts. And that's what we did. And we came back later in the evening, saw that it hit targets. We celebrated on Twitter. Of course, celebrated with our uh, syndicate members as well. And we were able to see out the trade. Um, we were able to follow through with the trade. The second um, tip they give is reduce the friction of starting. They say that uh, many people procrastinate, many people don't follow through with actions simply because they never start. Um, think about it for you guys that have trouble working out. Once you get outside, you know, when you start running, it's easy to finish. Once you physically put yourself in a gym, 
it's easy to get the workout done. The hardest part is, is getting set up, is actually starting. And the same thing with trading. Many of you guys don't have a routine. You don't have a ritual that you go through. You kind of wake up in the morning. You're, uh, I'll check some charts at some time. Up, oh, up, oh, emails got in the way. Up, oh, there goes Facebook. Ah, uh-huh. you know, you get on a YouTube search where you start watching trading videos. And you end up watching cute kittens or animal attack videos. Um, and two hours later, you never got started. And of course, that happens. You go back, you look at your trades, you're like, ah, oh, I missed that. Oh, I missed this. Right? You got to get started. Create that ritual. Create that routine. You know, we say treat your trading like a business. Set a business plan. Just as with a regular job, you would be expected, your boss would expect you to show up at a certain time. Plan your trading out like that. My trading day starts at 8 o'clock. That means as soon as 7.59 hits, you need to be in front of your computer and you need to get started. And once you get started, it's a lot easier. Uh, Many of our live room members love the live room so much because it, it forces them to trade. Once they're in our live room, once they're in the live room, the trading day gets easy because they've already started. Now they've got the blood flowing. They've got the great community of traders that are in there and they can go along with the process. But again, the hardest part is getting started. Um, the third rule or third tip was, uh, where do I have it here? I filled up my video cards. So I had to do some magical editing and start all over again. But the third tip is to utilize implementation intentions. This is essentially stating what you want to do and stating what you're going to do. I'm a big, um, I do a lot of work with goal setting with a lot of, um, different areas, trading and outside of trading. And one of the things that I truly believe about goals are that, one of the best ways to achieve a goal is to make it public, put it out there. You know, if you want to lose weight, you know, tell your coworkers, tell your significant other, hey, I'm going to lose 10 pounds by this date. That way others will hold you accountable. Um, I did that a lot when I first got started in my trading with my blog. I started a blog basically telling people I'm going to be a great trader, but right now, not so much. Right now I'm bad. And that helped a lot putting it out there to kind of put the pressure Um, on my back. And you guys should do the same thing. It's extremely hard to admit to being a trader. We're in an industry where A, many people have no idea what we're doing. Uh, I know you said you tell people, hey, I'm a Forex trader. And like, "Um, what exactly is that? And you go through those like stocks. But and then secondly, people think what you're doing is dangerous. It's a gamble. It's a scam. They don't really take you seriously. Um, I dealt with that a lot during my trading career where I was embarrassed to tell people what I was doing. And it wasn't until I made the conscious effort to say, hey, I am a trader, you know, or I will be a consistently profitable trader. When I started telling myself stuff like that, that I was actually able to break out of that little fear bubble and follow through with it. So um, we have a lot of traders right now following me on Twitter and we have a really great community on Twitter. If, if you're on Twitter, follow me at Akil Stokes RTM. But it's great. We have traders there um, in the course and not in the course that will type in, hey, guys, just had a good day today. And and immediately, you know, you get you're getting 10, 20 retweets and favorites and people saying, hey, good job. You have traders saying, hey, I I had a rough day today, Um, made a mistake, something of that sort. And you have traders that have your back saying, hey, you know, I've been there before. It's okay, man. Just keep at it. And it's great support. And we need this. Um, We need that. We we had a discussion in the live room earlier today about how there are so many uh, scammy people out there. I think someone shared an article or a podcast on it. So many scammy people out there that it's, you need like-minded individuals that are going to be honest with you and have your back during both the good and the bad. Um, So those are three tips. Now, one of the biggest, uh, one of the the biggest things that people procrastinate on, on, or that people start and don't finish is back testing. And this is something called time inconsistency. um, Meaning that I touched on this before in another video, but we're set to want instant gratification for some reason. We want to immediately do something and immediately see the benefit or the rewards of that. And trading is not that simple. Um, You know, we're we're, the rewards are long term. And for many of you, you can't even see them yet. Many of you are in a position where you can't even see yourself being a consistently profitable trader. You just know you want to be one. And it's very hard to follow through with the right steps without that vision when you're only thinking about how can I make as much money as I can right now. And backtesting is one of those steps that takes an massive amount, it takes a massive amount of effort to backtest. It takes a massive amount of time. It's frustrating. It's, it's some enjoy it. Some say it's boring, but it is work. 
Um, and a lot of traders want to shortcut that. I got, I got approached the other day about a trader or by a trader that said, hey, Akil, you should give me your back testing results. Didn't ask me if you can have my back test results. You should give me your back testing results. And I, I went on to tell this trader, no, I'm not giving you my back testing results. But more importantly, even if I did give you my back testing results, in no way would it help you as a trader. In fact, it would harm you more than it helped you as a trader. And uh, I had a good, I got a good message from a trader today on TradingView. Let me read this for you guys. That said this, this trader said, hey, Akil, Hey, Akil, thank you for your diligent work of teaching. I've been introduced to pattern trading by you and Jason. As maybe many others have done, I've thought that I don't need to do the back testing with those patterns since you guys have already made that for me. But I missed something important and I've just realized my mistake on that. I'm just a small beginner, so I only have a small amount of capital. Therefore, I'm working with a different risk reward ratio and I'm taking much smaller risk than you guys, which gives a totally different winning ratio. Uh, than your back testing results. Therefore, it is still true that I have to sit down, go back through my charts and do my own back testing. And I'm so happy to do that now after realizing the truth. Um, and so many traders don't realize the truth. So many traders think they can just copy. They don't take the time to grow that belief and they end up trading something on a different, you know, think about it this way, guys. You have not done the same back testing on the same pairs, the same time frame, the same time of day, and you don't have the same RAS as, as me, Jason, or anyone else out there. So although our results should be somewhat similar across the board, they're going to be different. And if you're making any modifications like this trader did risk reward, there's going to be even more difference there. So you got to do it yourself. And more importantly, you got to do it to grow that belief system. So. We're going to end that video with that, guys. Uh, my camera is about to die. Make sure I'll see you guys later. Make sure you're registered for Jason's Cracking the Code webinar tonight. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see you there. As usual, do me a favor. If you found this content beneficial, like, subscribe, share this, guys. Let's grow this community. Um, and I'll see you next week for another weekend review video. Take care, gang. Woo, made it. Yes. I beat you, camera. I beat you. You will not shut off on me again. <laughs> I'm gonna jinx myself. I'm gonna jinx myself. This whole thing's not gonna be recorded. <sighs> well, if that happens, we'll have some funny outtakes to do it. <laughs>